Do you know what time it is? No, it's not nap time. I wish it was nap time, but do you know what time it is? That's right, it's curriculum review time. And today we're looking at science. Hey, Joyful Noise Mamas. I'm Ashley, if you're new here, let me introduce myself. I'm a homeschool mom of three, and I've been doing this for about four years now, and I really enjoy homeschooling my kids. And currently it's April, and we are winding down a, another school year, but this is a great collaboration with some of my other friends over at, we've got Ingrid with Mommy and Mia Homeschool Chronicles. We've got April with Simple Rugged Path, and we've got my other good friend, Michelle, at, oh, she just changed her name, um, The Brave Homeschooler Mama. I will link to all of them below in the description box. You can check out their YouTube channels as well as the playlist for this series on homeschooling curriculum reviews. And this first one is gonna be science, like I said. So um, we're gonna jump in. All right, just to give a little lowdown, my kids are ages eight, six, and three and a half right now. And at the beginning of this year, when I was researching curriculum and what I wanted to pick, um, I wanted to step out of the box a little bit and do something a little different. I, um, or then not different from everybody else, but different from what I had done in the past. And in the past, I did do a box curriculum. I did it with a group of friends so we could do a co-op. But I knew that this year I did not want a box curriculum. Um, I also wanted something simple. I wanted something affordable. And I wanted something Charlotte Mason based. And, oh, and biblically based as well. So in my scouring of research on the internet, this is what I landed on. It is called... 106 Days of Creation Studies, and it is by Simply Charlotte Mason. And sorry about the glare. Here, there you go. Um, look at this. Look how tiny that is. <laughs> look how simple that is. And um, I really liked it because um, it was broken up into 106 lessons, basically. But it was also very, like, you don't have to go in any certain order. Um, you could, which we actually didn't. I started in the middle because that's just how I roll. But um, I like it because they broke it up in each days of creation. You know, there's day one, help me out here, my brain is a little slow today. Okay, day one I think was light and darkness, and so you do a study of light, I believe. Um, and then there were studies on the creation of the animals, there were studies on water and weather, there were studies on plants and land, and then rocks, um, and then the last was human body. I believe. Oh, and insects, there was a, well, that was in the animal study. But anyway, um, we jumped in with this and we technically didn't finish it, but I used it a lot for great resources for science throughout the year. So let me tell you what we ended up doing with this curriculum. I started with creation day five and went into that section. We started with insects and then it goes into lizards and reptiles. And we talked about, you know, all the classifications of uh, all the types of animals and I what I had planned to do which didn't happen unfortunately But we did go to an aquarium though But I wanted to do a unit on a section of animals and then go to a Field trip at the end of it. And so one was a field trip to the zoo and I planned it and then weather happened and Life happened and we never got to go to the actual zoo, but we did go to an aquarium at one point um, Where we to see all the animals in the aquarium Another great thing about this curriculum is, you know, they include all the, they include little, little tiny activities to do with each lesson, and then at the end you do a field trip that goes along with the unit that you just did, but it also has books to read, so it includes lots of living books to go with what part of creation that you're studying, and some of my favorite ones was the Christian Liberty Nature Reader, and it wasn't like... It wasn't like super amazing, but it was super cute and like really simple stories. And the way it was written, I could either read it out loud to all of them and they can, then they could draw a picture of what we read or um, they, my daughter can actually read it on her own. So you see her bookmark there. It's, I think it's where she finished, but um, she did read some of this on her own. So I liked how that added on very well to our um, nature studies and our um, animal studies there. Um, I don't have the actual book for, we didn't do this one because we did a bird unit a year or two ago. And um, frankly, my daughter could probably do birds all the time, but I was a little bit tired of it and wanted something a little bit different. So um, we skipped the bird unit this time around, um, but the other Thornton W. Burgess book called The Adventures of Buster Bear 
was the book that we did read for our mammals unit and the kids loved it like these stories they are so just sweet and cute and just um i don't know see look at this it's quite a bit um, my daughter probably couldn't read it on her own but um i did read it out loud to my children and they loved it it was a really cute story about buster bear and the farmer bo farmer boy I think yeah, Farmer Brown's boy, um, Otter, and all these different characters um, that that teaches you about the animals and their characteristics, but creating them into characters that um, that act and move, show you these characteristics of these animals, but you're not like reading a fact science book. So we really enjoyed that. The other thing I liked to supplement with my curriculum was YouTube videos. We ended up doing that quite a bit. Um, so we would watch uh, we would watch a YouTube video that. Okay, I'm back. Um, another thing I like to do is supplement with YouTube videos with our curriculum uh, because there's just so many things out there. So we used YouTube a lot. There was Sci Kids that we used for, um, we did a unit on um, weather because my kids got really interested in, oh, I didn't turn the timer off. <laughs> this is real life people. Um, we watched Psy Kids because we did a unit on weather and uh, storms. My kids got really interested in tornadoes and hurricanes because there was a lot of hurricanes happening over the year this year that um, my kids wanted to learn about. So we got some books from the library on that and we watched videos on YouTube, both on the news stories that were actual footage of the in satellite footage of these hurricanes and just some like science kids videos, you know, Bill Nye the Science Guy, stuff like that. So my kids really enjoyed that this year. We also did a rocks unit. Yeah, we didn't go in order at all. So I got to the end of the animal section and I was ready to jump into the human body section and do that unit. And the kids were like, no, we don't want to do that. And so I was like, which one do you want to do? Heat and light and sound and stuff like that. And they thought maybe that one. Then they ended up picking rocks. And I was a little bummed and I was like, I don't want to do rocks. But it was what they were interested in and I you know swallowed my own pride and was like all right let's do rocks but they had fun with that one as well so again we got all the books recommended at the library and then we ordered um, a rock um, collection kit from a science website and they got to dig in the sand and pull out different kinds of rocks and gemstones and just look at the characteristics of those and they really enjoyed that that was a lot of fun oh and I got a um, uh, geode rock where they had to crack it open with a hammer and we went in the garage and just started whacking it and then it opened up and it had all the crystals inside of it and um, the kids really liked that what that activity as well so that is pretty much how we did science this year and how i used the 106 days of creation studies and i do recommend it it was pretty simple and um we're technically not done with it so we will pick it up back up again and do the units that we didn't get to, like we didn't do a, the space or um, outer space. We didn't do the light, heat, the light, heat, and uh, energy one. Uh, and then we didn't do the human body uh, unit. So we'll probably do those three um, next year. So I'll be able to use it again. Oh, the other great thing was it was super affordable. I didn't share this earlier, but um, it was only $17 for this book. And I know that I feel like there's some science out there that you're spending $30 on average on their science books so and this again it's going to last us for two or maybe three years so and i can use it again and again because it's for oh it says right here grades one through six so uh we can use it again and again and so yeah that was my science review for this school year and i hope you enjoyed that um if you haven't already be sure and hit subscribe and i would love for you to stick around i like to talk about videos on homeschooling reviews and tips and anything with a Charlotte Mason biblically based um, homeschooling on a budget. And um, again, check out the other videos below and I will see you next time. Bye. Ingrid wet mommy and homeschool me. It's rich, rich language. That's my timer for my food.